It's a little chilly out there tonight. It is. Hey everybody. Hey guys. Welcome to uh, episode 6 of the Doom Goriums Report, brought to you by the guys from Doom Goriums Horror Emporium. I'm Happy Wax. I'm Axe Master. Sure. And this are. is the Doom Goriums Report. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, well, get the ball rolling. Tonight we, uh, we're we going to do a, uh, a review on a movie we watched. Uh, we were lucky enough to catch on uh, Video On Demand before it actually comes out in the theaters in uh, February, I believe, early February. Uh, it's called The Innkeepers. Uh, Innkeepers, yep. And it's director uh, Ty West, who also wrote it. Uh, in the cast, we have uh, Kelly McGillis as uh, Leanne. We got Sarah Paxton as Claire and Pat Healy as Luke. And there's a couple other people, but we won't. Yeah. Get to them, so, yeah. yeah. So. so uh, well, I think we should go straight to the trailer for this one. Yes, let us uh, do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the story of Madeline O'Malley? She was the woman that died here in the hotel. She hung herself after her fiance stood her up on their wedding day. And ever since then, people have reported seeing the ghost of Madeline O'Malley roaming the hallways waiting for her lover. Some say she's even looking to take up a new one. This is our last weekend open, so we've gotta find some proof that Madeline O'Malley really exists before this place closes down. I have my microphone so we can make do with EVP investigations. Yes, I like a room for the night. Since the hotel is practically empty, we might have a good chance of making some real contact. What was that? Did you hear that? Hang on. Do you want to communicate with the spirits in this hotel? I can help you do that. What do they want? To live. You mustn't go down into the basement. Under a blanket of blue Just you and I beneath the stars trying to find, use my binoculars here, see if I can find something good to say about this review, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you, I didn't really like this movie and I'll tell you why. I saw the trailer for it and I was, I was pumped to see it. I thought it was going to be awesome. It's Ty West who directs it, who's a pretty good up and coming director. He did House of the Devil, which is a really, really good movie if you ever get a chance to watch it. Um, and Sarah Paxton's in this movie. You know, you got a good cast, you got a pretty good director. I don't know. I mean, it didn't scare me. I mean, there was nothing new in it. I was really disappointed with a lot of the scenes. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know, it didn't have that uh, scare factor for me. And, you know, it was kind of a paint by the numbers for me. And there was a lot going on in this movie that made absolutely no sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, there were certain things I liked about it. I liked the, the acting was good. The, I liked the way they filmed it. Like, the mm -hmm. camera angles was, were pretty cool. Uh, but definitely there's a lot of space in the movie like there's too much not happening I thought I thought when they when there were scary scenes um, They were good. I mean they were kind of creepy, but there just wasn't enough of them. So yeah. it's kind of it just sort of left you going Yeah, um, like so, maybe I think that's like what, Jimmy. Yeah, sitting, that's what kind of ruined there. it for me was you've got a like I said You got a good director. You got a good good cast and 
I mean, there was, I didn't really think there was anything scary about this movie. And I don't want to give anything away, but there's a lot going on in this movie where you're left scratching your head saying, yeah. why is this even happening? You know what I mean? Like, who is this person? How is he relevant to the movie? <laughs> the unanswered ending. Yeah, but we don't want to give the ending yeah. away because it's not even out yet. Do you know so. what I mean? But when you see the movie, you'll, you'll see exactly what I mean. But I don't know. I, I agree with Axe. It was, it was like the way it was filmed. I mean, the angles and stuff awesome you know what i mean and but it just wasn't scary you know what i mean like they they're billing it as a ghost story and i mean where's all the ghosts you know what yeah, i mean like where are they? i don't there know some ghosts like, I, i'm gonna have to go 4.5 for me yeah, yeah i i gotta give it a two maybe a three i i so you know what that means yeah that's uh that's a stinker alert stinker alert stinker alert that is a stinker rubber alert. chicken stinker alert yes yeah all right so yeah i, I don't know you know Whatever, I'm not gonna tell you not to go see it. We had we had to wake Jimmy up just yeah. a couple times through this film. Yeah. So, and uh, if anybody likes horror, it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. So. All right. Anyways, well, uh, it comes out in uh, you know another couple of weeks. So I mean, check go it out see for it. yourselves. Yeah. See what you think. But Let us know uh, what you think. Be careful. Yeah. And uh, until next time, stay scared. Yeah. And we'll see you on the Doom Guardians report. All right. See bye you guys. Bye.